A full house tonight inside Covington Commission Chambers. Now, while well, last week officials called last week's storm a 50 to 100 year storm, but residents say that's not the case. Residents say they've dealt with flooding back in 2010 and they're sick of spending hundreds to thousands of dollars to clean up the mess. Dick Englert, who owns an, an eight unit apartment on Hanser Avenue in Covington, says last week's storms damaged the four units on the ground floor. He says he's been cleaning those units up all week long and is waiting to get new carpet for them. He said he's not sure how much the damage will cost him out of pocket. He says the damage from the flooding a couple years ago cost him around $50,000, and he's still trying to pay that loan off. The sewage came up through the toilets, came up through the bathtubs, came in up in the uh, entrance foyer, uh, a drain in the entrance foyer, and came in through the front doors. I came in from the front door and came in from the back, too. Now, Greg Stacy with the Sanitation District told residents tonight that they do have several projects in the works to help fix that drainage problem, but they can't do those projects until they get funding, and funding is estimated to cost around $15 million. Amy Wattis, Night on Your Side, live from Covington. Okay, Amy, thanks very much. We